Are you hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. Um, so I've been at work this morning it was actually really good because everyone's like staying over in the hotel because obviously it's about holiday weekend there are more people wanting to stay than leave so basically we didn't have to like change beds or anything you just sort of make them up and tidy the room give it a bit of a polish make it smell a bit nicer a bit fresher so we had to do that for most of the hotel so it was really good um, I got to know one of my colleagues a little bit better which was really nice because um, I haven't worked with her that often, so that was really good. It's now quarter to three, I've had some lunch um, and a little bit of a sit down before I pop out again. So the plan today is this, I really wanted to surprise Lauren with like a little Easter present. I don't really want to just get an Easter egg because I think it's really easy just going out and thinking, oh, that person likes chocolate twirls or whatever and I'll just buy that one for like two pounds and that's great. Um, don't get me wrong, it's lovely giving Easter presents and Easter eggs and stuff like that. I just wanted to do a little bit something more um, because she's been so good to me for the last... Well, she's always good to me, don't get me wrong, but like when my back went out, it was really bad. So like now that I feel like I can actually get back on my feet, I just wanted to give her something like just to really surprise you know on your birthday you kind of like yeah you get presents and anniversaries you get presents but for Easter don't really usually do anything so I think it'll really surprise her the charity shop that I go to here in Cows have recently had the cats are playing recently had some baskets in there like really long stemmed baskets we'll see if we find them what i'd love to do is buy one of those and fill it like with just a few goodies just to have a little surprise for her tomorrow i know all of you will be going but you're vegan you can't have chocolate um girl let's get real we both girls so chocolate is kind of fundamental uh, we're very much the if we feel the need for it then we will we won't deprive our bodies of something that it may desperately want or whatever so I think that once in a while particularly on Easter Lauren should be allowed to have chocolate and my phone ran out of storage so we will actually go out soon don't worry we will get there in the end um yeah what I was saying was is that if Lauren wants chocolate then she should be allowed to have it you know what I mean so and I just think like a nice little treat for her would be really nice so I'm gonna grab my bags chick I'm gonna grab my bags um and then we're gonna head out I'm really hoping that the uh little baskets are still in the window I, I've got a feeling I haven't seen them in a while it just it, it literally occurred to me last night that that's something I could do so oh, let's go those, like, uh, those charity shops closed the charity shop that I usually go to was open but didn't have the baskets so I'm just kind of trolling around trying to find something you know it's just a little jug or a nice little mug or something we'll see like honestly how the hell am I meant to choose <laughs> Hey guys, I am back. I'm very quickly going to show you what I got, just as like a little haul um, before Lauren comes up, if she comes up. She's not due to finish work until late tonight, but you know what it's like. She'll pop up to say hi or whatever, and I'll be like, oh my god, halfway through doing it, so I'll be super duper quick. Uh, a, a, a semi, a semi success, I believe. Um, basically, I decided to go back around the charity shops to see if I could find anything. And what I did actually find is this really cute vintage I'm not sure if you set up. Yeah, it's like a little vintage bowl and it's got like these cute little rosy flower things on it. And I just thought that was the right kind of size because we can't afford much. Um, but I wanted to get her enough that it actually made it look like I was making an effort. And I think that that like with a few little eggs in and a little car, I think that'll look really pretty. So that was good and that was a bargain. That was only two pounds. 
Then I've got these Oreo dairy milk eggs and they're individually wrapped, which is what I really wanted um, so that I can display them in the bowl without like chocolate getting all over the china and all that jazz. So I've got her a bag of these. I also got her just a mini box of mini eggs, which I thought just look really cute. Everyone's gonna have a cream egg at Easter. It's basically written in the Bible, so. Lauren probably can't have this because as I was scanning it, I realized it said may contain traces of hazelnuts. And of course, Lauren's allergic to nuts. And I know it's only a may contain traces, but when it's a specific nut like a hazelnut, it's kind of scary. But you do get a little toy inside, so I thought even if we gave the chocolate to someone else, at least she gets like the little toy inside and feels a bit like a little baby kid. Then last of all, I got her a little cappuccino bar from M&S because like these are, are her absolute favorites. Sort of like if she wants chocolate, that's her go-to. So what I'm probably gonna do is wrap all of this up. I'm gonna wash out the little bowl that I got, um, wrap it all up, and then I'm at work tomorrow before Lauren is, so I'll probably make it all up then, and then leave it out for her to find when I'm at work. I also forgot to say, I just got her like a little, very simple Easter card from M&S for a pound. I thought, what a bargain. Um, and it's so cute, and it just means I can write a little message in there to say thanks. So I thought that was really sweet too. Whew, okay, got it all away before she came up, which is great, because I was really worried. I really wanted to show you guys, but I was starting to worry that she was gonna come up and completely ruin the surprise, because the thing is, if I tell Lauren I've got a surprise for her, she'll basically pester me until she gets out of me, and I really want her to be like properly surprised, like not expecting anything, so. I'm super excited. I mean, it's only a small thing, but it's just nice because I know it should be really surprised and really grateful. So now, to be honest, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I've basically got the rest of the evening to myself, so I'll probably just whip around the house and do some housework. Um, and maybe like do that thing called relaxing. Oh my God, you guys, I have literally just edited the longest vlog we've ever done. When I say it's the longest vlog, it's literally like five minutes over our longest vlog. It's like 17 and a half minutes. I mean, you'll be seeing this the day after. If you're still with us and, you know, haven't aged so much and died because, you know, the vlog is so long though. But we hope you enjoyed it. We had so much to show you and we were so excited because we were going somewhere new and to show you guys. So we didn't really want to delete any of it. Um, and we had such a nice day yesterday, we just really wanted to share it with you guys. And hopefully that comes across in the vlog. So now, of course, it's super late. And I've still got all my housework to do. As you can see here, lots of folding. Yay. So I'm on, put some tunes on. I'm going to tidy. And that's kind of my evening, because that's what happens when you're 25 years old and married. I also need to feed the babies. I think they're hungry. Reason why you're sitting by the kitchen door. Morning. Hi, Phil. Are you hungry? Phil, are you hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. Madam, are you hungry? You are. Okay. Literally, I genuinely don't think that there is anything better than a clean kitchen. Good evening guys, so I've done all the housework I think that I need to do. I might have a quick tidy up of the bedroom whilst I'm in there and then I can actually sit down. And it's about nine o'clock, so I think that it's okay for me to just sit down now. So, this is Lauren's jumper. There is someone underneath it. <laughs> I chucked it over her to see what she would do and apparently it's super comfy. Go this way so we can see. Oh, hey! Is it good? I'm so glad. Oh my god, this is super dark. So, Lauren's just got home, so we'll be having dinner soon. I'm watching a bit of Graveyard Girl and trying not to fall asleep. Of course, uh, tonight is daylight savings, as Lauren has just reminded me. So we have an hour less in bed. Why? So now I'm like desperate for dinner, desperate for bed to get all them hours in to sleep. So yeah, God, I'm gonna be a wreck tomorrow. <laughs> you can't see it.
try and lighten it on Nifty, but having snuggles with the chicken. <laughs> I know, right? It's quarter to one at the moment. And Laura's like, oh, technically it's quarter to two. And I'm like, oh, God, please don't tell me this. So she's just popped down to get a guest list and we're going to bed because I'm absolutely shattered. And I really didn't want to be going to bed like an hour later than what I'm really meant to be, you know what I mean? Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're going out. Hello, Summer. How are you doing? <laughs> there is literally not a cloud. There is, there's one. This is some of the... Oh, okay. <laughs> Madam Finickety. 